Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Eloise and I'm 17 and I'm in recovery from anorexia. And today I'm doing something so exciting. I'm gonna be eating Christmas foods for 24 hours. I'm literally so excited. I hope you're all doing okay, by the way. So yeah, let's get some breakfast. Christmas tree avocado toast. Um, I hope that it's visible that they are Christmas trees. I don't know, you tell me. But we've got sourdough toast, and as you saw, I obviously ate the off cuts. Yeah, the avocado, boisson, however you say it, I don't know. Tomatoes, and then sriracha. So they're supposed to be like the baubles. That's the sriracha supposed to be the tinsel. The cheese is supposed to be the snow. You get the vibe. I think I added too much sriracha. <laughs> so I know that Christmas is like a really hard time for a lot of people, especially with eating disorders, because there is so much kind of expectation to be happy all the time. And obviously that's not realistic but also with the new year diets and all of that rubbish and obviously it can be like really tricky to join in with like all of the christmas food and stuff like for so long i've missed out on everything and it's just not worth it like like in 20 years time you're not going to look back and be like oh my god i'm so glad that i didn't have that advent calendar or i'm so glad that i didn't join in with that Christmas dinner and you're not going to be like oh my god I'm so glad that I missed out on those memories I missed out on that good food I don't regret that at all no you're going to feel regretful that you didn't join in and it's so much more important to count memories and not calories okay last bite that was actually really good Finito. and then I've <clears throat> also got some of this juice I did just drink some but <clears throat> why do i always end up choking in my videos <laughs> um whenever i have juice i always end up just like choking and i don't know why <laughs> also meds reminder and now i need to go get some water because that's gonna be gross and then i also have my advent calendar actually advent calendars oh i'm intrigued what's gonna be in that big 24 one last year i didn't manage to have one so i'm really proud of myself that this year i'm having one as i say i've missed out for too long why can't i find two why is there no two there's actually no two why is there no two i'm not even joking I found it! Sorry, that was really dramatic. Oh, we got a Santa. Why does this taste so much better than like normal chocolate? But I really hope that you guys will have advent calendars this year. I get that it's a challenge, but the only way to make it not a challenge is by doing it, and you deserve to have advent calendars, and little you would have always had them. So if little you just ask them, so does current you.
side we have Pigs and Blanket Crisps. And 4 in 1 says, yes, I am pescatarian. No, there is no meat in these. I don't know how they get it to taste like it is, but there isn't. Cucumber. And most importantly, a brie and cranberry toasty. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And a satsuma. I always used to get these in my stockings. So these remind me of Christmas. Obviously with other stuff, I wasn't like a deprived child. <sighs> I always used to have brie and cranberry at the day service and it wasn't warmed up. So this is like next level. Also rate our Christmas tree. multiple of my old fear foods in this meal i know that white bread is a fear for a lot of people and cheese is a fear for a lot of people crisps butter and a year ago this would have absolutely terrified me but now like it's not even a challenge at all so take me as proof that challenge repeat works eat it to beat it works and I know it feels scary right now, but I promise you, the more you challenge it, it does get easier. But also, I want you to know that nothing bad happens when you do eat your fear foods. Only good things happen, like you get a step closer to achieving the life that you want. Eventually, you will reach food freedom. So take it from me that it does get easier. But only if you go against the voice in your head and challenge it. Look at all that cranberry goodness. Mm-mm. Also, I just want to say, since for my morning snack, I only had the advent calendar, that's why I'm having the extra with lunch. Um, so yeah, I have had it, just I've jumbled it up a bit because I woke up really late, so yeah. But waking up late or any excuse is not an excuse to not still fuel yourself properly and eat all of the food that you need to in a day. be having that more often 10 out 10 combo if you haven't tried it go and try it Ooh. so i've decorated my room for christmas i may or may not have done it like two weeks ago but we're not going to talk about that i've got my little reminders on my mirror and look at this little gonky guy he's so cute look how cute my tree is so yeah i've got my little snowman bowl which i painted last year so these are mince pie inspired overnight oats wait that's actually so good and then i've got these little pretzel sweet and salted christmas treats we've got the oats with mixed brown spice cinnamon and sliced apple in there raisins and orange peel and then in the, I actually made mincemeat, so, but I didn't add like brandy and all that because I don't really know why. <laughs> um, and then for the mincemeat, it was sultanas, apple, cinnamon, mixed ground spice, orange juice, like freshly squeezed, and orange peel. Amazing. I think I went a bit overboard on the zest. It's a bit bitter at times, but... It is good to be fair. I would recommend. I'm just watching some YouTube. So, we have family coming around tonight and they live up north, so it's going to be nice to see them and I haven't seen them in quite a while um but I'm cooking tonight which is a big deal because my mum has always struggled to trust me to cook because of past situations mm. um 
so yeah i mean it's nice because i have always enjoyed cooking so that's kind of something that my eating disorder made me lose i guess like my mom couldn't trust me to cook meals anymore basically um i'm gonna be doing like a roast dinner but like with a twist i'm having salmon instead of meat um but it's gonna be good i'm doing like honey roasted carrots and stuff so it's gonna be jazzed up a little bit so i'm excited so yeah let's do some cooking together and here is bamboo my little boy i'm pretty sure every video i've done so far has included the dogs but it'll be wrong not to So we've got some sesame oil and I'm going to show you that oil is nothing to fear. I know that is a massive fear for a lot of you, but we're going to pour unmeasured and nothing bad is going to happen. It's just going to make the potatoes nice and crispy because it is necessary. <laughs> Mum would like to say something. The food is good because we need it for fuel. I don't know why we're butchering, just speaking. <laughs> Apparently it's hard today, so I do apologize, but um, yeah. Thank you, mom. I've just given these potatoes a shake because it makes them nice and fluffy and nice and crispy, even crispier. So to season the potatoes, I did rosemary, a lot of it, <laughs> thyme, pepper, salt and garlic and some extra oil and then to season the salmon i did dried dill dried thyme lemon juice slices of lemon um soy sauce garlic granules chili flakes and spring onion So as I said for dinner, I tried my best to do a kind of Christmas dinner, but we used salmon instead of traditional meat. But we had crispy roast potatoes, cauliflower cheese, honey roasted carrots, cabbage and peas. Uh, obviously I made sure that the salmon was nicely seasoned. Obviously this isn't a proper Christmas dinner, but it was still really good. And yes, so I ate this meal with my family, hence why I'm not talking. So that's why I'm just doing a voiceover now. And then for dessert, I had a warmed up mince pie with these little Robin dime chocolates. But I had a sudden craving for chocolate. And so of course I wanted it. But I think I ended up having like eight chocolates. So more of the Robins and two um, roses chocolates. So yes, a very Christmassy day and I know that the only way to make my hunger go away is by honouring it. And I'm absolutely obsessed with mince pies, it was literally so good. I hope that you've all enjoyed this video. Um, I've had so much fun filming it and it was really nice to try some new stuff but also get back to the old stuff that fulfilled my childhood self but also me my current self because that is what life is about and life is too short to miss out on the things that we enjoy especially when it is literally a basic human need <laughs> but yeah so much good food mm, so good but yeah i'm sending you all lots of love and this is your sign and to eat the things that you enjoy because as i say that is what life is for and yeah fuel your bodies and please like and subscribe and you deserve to enjoy every part of Christmas you deserve to join in eat the food you love all of that all the good stuff let's treat ourselves right I will see you all soon